Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. In the previous episode we introduced a few new people um, and we really got down to it with the Barbarian. And uh, we also went out with Sun, our uh, librarian, and leveled a lot of people up. We got our other Vestal really high level in just one mission from zero to level two, which was great. Uh, and yeah, we had an all-round pretty damn good time. Uh, and this time we're going to be getting in. We've got a lot of characters to intro, so we'll get right into that now. First off, we have our heir, uh, and this is Will June. This is a backstory by T.E.A. Will had set off at the unusual age of 15 with a fair portion of his father's wealth, intent on becoming an entrepreneur and following in the footsteps of his father. Unfortunately, all that wait awaited him was failure and misfortune. As his wealth dwindled away to nothing, along with his hope, he turned to alcohol to keep his spirits up, and one night, at the age of 19, he realised he needed to return home and seek of help from his father. Over several weeks of drinking, he mustered up the courage to admit his failings and went back to the hamlet. He was appalled by the state of things. Several of the buildings were heavily run down, the surrounding forests were overgrown and festering with disease and rot, and the manor in which he used to live had fallen apart. According to the residents and a few apparent heroes, a great evil had descended upon the land, and its origin was his manor. This was surprising and terrible. Will now had absolutely nothing to his name. His home was hosting some terrible evil, and even his own father had squandered their great wealth. One particularly long night, um, th a thought left him with an answer. He had lost much, but these lands still belonged to him, and surrounding him were people willing to take it back. He couldn't just give them orders, however. They hate him, and he'd hate himself. He had to prove he had something to prove that he was capable that when under pressure he could push to success to succeed. Not only that, he had come home to return to and no unspeakable evil would stop him from doing so. That's a great little backstory there. The heir is actually gonna be an insanely good member of our party here. Like insanely good. The heir um is probably we're gonna do this by the way straight away Um, the air is probably from from what i've seen one of the most overpowered classes that i've used so far like the air seems fr frankly incredible uh considering she can buff attack it for extra damage accuracy and crit she has a heal that buffs dodge and she has a party heal. Like, well, he, just to say. Very, very good. Also, demon here really helps there. So that's the air. This is Haverod, our cannoneer. And this is a backstory by Cell, otherwise known as Unstable Strafe. Haverod worked an old sulfur mine in Norway during his youth, which led him to learn a lot about combustion. He became an engineer in his adult life, specializing in the combustion engines and locomotion. Many of his days would be spent mixing different compounds in hope of creating a more efficient fuel. Though soon he would find a greater warmth than fire. Love. Leaving, an engineer, leaving engineering as a hobby, Haverod started to settle down with his beautiful wife. They built a family together and eventually Haverod forgot entirely about his passion, as he'd found a, his true pleasure lies with caring for his loved ones. But during the war, he was drafted and had to leave his family behind, though they did keep in touch. He took up a position as a military engineer, favouring the familiar smells of machine oil over blood. This didn't make his situation any better, however, so he began to smoke occasionally. Throughout the majority of the war he didn't even know what his enemy was until one night when an enemy body was brought to his workstation by a group of men in government clothing the thing was some kind of suit of armor made of a bluish gray stone with a sulfur chunk embedded in its chest the men told him he was helping protect his country from ancient abominations they wanted him to study the body and see if it could, he could replicate it. Just at that moment, the armor's eyes flashed in a deep purple, and Havadad found himself transported away to an old cobblestone road overlooking a large estate. Thinking quickly, he ran down to the estate looking for a way home. What he found instead was the origins of the creatures he'd fought. While he didn't prefer the front line in combat, Haverad was ready to join the fight against the Darkest Dungeon if it meant protecting his family. 
I absolutely love this one. This is a really, really good backstory that ties in the Colors of Madness, the Hollow Knight, and um, there's going to be some cool interactions between them two, definitely. Uh, and it, it really just it makes a lot of sense for this guy, so I'm really happy to have him on the party. I do apologize for butchering his name. Maybe maybe people can give me a bit of a tip on how to best suggest that name, because I am terrible at that. But either way, that is our Cannoneer. Next up, we have Nori, and this is our Acolyte of the Sun, and this is by Esurio. Taken from his parents as a kid, Nori was raised by an occult, uh, by a cult that worshipped the moon. As she turned 14, she learned the terrible fate they planned for her, and so she fled them. The girl was later found and adopted by a group of priestesses that worshipped the sun. When she grew older, they had taught her about the magic of the sun, and now Nori uses her powers to kill anyone that stands in her way as she carries out her god's will. Nice little basic backstory there, going from one side to the other. I love having all of these different warriors of darkness and sun in our in our party. It's going to be really interesting to see these guys interact with each other and decide not to interact with each other in some cases. It's going to be very interesting to find that out along the way. Nice backstory there, thank you. Finally, we have our Houndmaster, Matthew, and his dog, Ace, and this is a backstory by Nick. He started his life out in a small village known across the land for its hounds. In the village, they would hold annual hunts, and Matthew was intrigued by the spoils at stake if he won the competition. And from a young age, Ace had been his loyal companion, so to enter him would be his best chance. But he played by his own rules and went against the true nature of those in his village, cheating, stealing, and tricking to win. But when the townsfolk found out about his sinful deeds, he was exiled until he found his way back to the rightful path and deemed himself worthy enough to return. Shortly after that, he found out about what was promised if he'd him, him and his companion went along on adventures and were to survive going through the darkest dungeon. Love that backstory there. That's great. Um, especially considering we have an actual origin for the uh, hound here. So we're... We're going to have to pick some interesting different costumes here. I'm going to go with the grey-haired one, actually. I really like that one. But that's something I haven't really messed with. I've normally just taken the default one, but I like this one a lot here. Uh, and yes, of course, of course, of course, our... Uh, Houndmaster here is going to be very, very useful. Uh, there's some really good stuff here. Targeted Whistle is really good for lowering that prot. We've got some really good abilities to apply bleed here, uh, as well as extra mark damage. We even have some stress relief if we'd need that. Uh, and we even have stun as well. We're going to stick with what he's actually spawned with here. I like all of these abilities. But they're going to be really, really good. And yeah, let's uh, let's go and take a look what we want to get into for this episode. We have a few different options to go for. Uh, we okay, so today I think we're going to go in and do the Incurrent Flesh. This is going to be a target that takes a lot of bleed and blight damage. That's going to be our main way of killing the Incurrent Flesh here. And I think we have a pretty good group. We're taking out Matthew and our heir as well, two of our new classes, um, mainly because our heir has a really good trinket, plus 20 prot and 3 speed, uh, as well as the uh, extra healing, it's going to make these three skills especially very, very useful. Uh, our Houndmaster is just going with the extra prot and stress reduction, um, basically giving him a flat 25 prot, and that's going to be pretty good, uh, and he's going to be trying to bleed. And then we've got um, Harathan here, who's going to be blighting. He's going to be taking a hit to maximum HP, dodge and speed, but he's getting the chance to heal himself along with that extra crit and damage, which I think is pretty valuable. Um, he should be pretty okay like that. And then here we have Trell, and he is getting the extra bleed chance and duration versus marked, um, which is incredible when mixed with the target whistle. Um, so he's going to be doing a lot of bleed, hopefully, and being able to bleed things quite easily, along with the fact that he has the ability um, to uh, add an extra 20% damage received, and that gets buffed by another 20%, so it's a 130% chance for that to hit. So I thought that was a pretty good, um, and and then, yeah, that's that's pretty much everyone grouped together. I think that's going to be a really good group. The uh, Incant Flesh does have a, a, a higher bleed resist than blight resist, but it's only marginally. Uh, it's got 20 blight resist and 40 bleed resist. So the, this group should be able to take him out relatively easily. And this is in the Warrens, which I do think means, if I'm correct, if we just go back here... Um, Yes, in the Warrens we get extra damage and resolve XP, so it's a perfect time to do this. We're, for this, we're going to be getting the Raid Plant, which is going to help our Butcher uh, massively. More so helping the group than anything. That 15% Scout Chance mixed with the uh, Monster Surprise and the Speed is really good. And then I do believe the Memory of Old Days 
is only active if you have the two specific trinkets we need. We also get the Eldritch Slayer ring. We already have the Human Slayer and the Beast Slayer, so getting the Eldritch Slayer ring as well is pretty good. And then we have the Locust Sensor, which is going to help out with uh, our Monk's healing abilities, like his Inner Fire and his Repurse, which is going to be quite nice, although it does neg negate some of his speed. But I think that should be okay. So let's jump into this um, and get our provisions going. We do, of course, have the ability to camp and, in fact... In fact, before we go, we do have a prevent nighttime ambush. Great. So oh, that that's a that's a stress one though. So that's not great. Um, ooh, okay. We'll go and we'll go and spend a little bit of money here before we go out, just because I think that one is a much better version. So let's just quickly go like this sort by level. This will push our guys to the top. And, um, yeah, let's let's quickly buy that there. And that's going to be really, really good. Research. Matthew. He's also got pretty much the exact same thing here. Um, that could be quite nice. Either way, let's, uh, let's stick with that. That's going to be pretty good. And uh, let's get ready to embark here. So this is the right quest. Yep. Take our provisions. Get our food. I think... I can't remember what the dog treats do. Uh, greatly increases chance for the... Hounds vigor for a short time. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but we'll we'll try out the hounds treats as we go along here. We probably only need about 16 food. No, we'll take 18 just in case. Take four shovels, then three of all of these. You guys know that I generally like to overspend on the boss quests, just because there's there's times where it can not quite go your way. I'd rather overspend than underspend. Each attempt invariably brought only failure and disappointment. Progress was halting, and the rapidly accumulating surplus of wasted flesh had become burdensome. Burdensome. I do think it would. Uh, we have quite a lot of diary entries this week. I might not read all of them here out, but I'm going to read a good few of them. So first off, we have one from Verona, our snake charmer, and this is by T. Um, and this was just a few days after beating the sunken crew. I've been reluctant to speak about what happened during my expedition, so I'll write it here. While we were battling the ghosts of a long-dead crew on their sinking ship, Artemis was pulled to the front and she transformed into some kind of monster. Everyone was shocked, but in her state she continued attacking our foes, and so did we. After the battle was over, I looked back and she was back to her normal self. I'd been trying to convince myself it was some kind of hallucination, but the others, they saw it too. Nobody has spoken about it since... Yet I don't believe it happened. And I haven't spoken to Art much, Artemis much recently, or for, for a matter of fact, at all. It's late, and I need some rest. And we do have one more short one here. This is uh, one from Dismas, and this is written by Cello and Stable Strafe. Gunpowder loaded. Barrels cleaned. Grips polished. Got to always make sure your guns are happy. The only ones you can trust in this damned world. Two great little backstories there. We have more to come. People have been absolutely beasting it with the backstories. And uh, I keep saying backstories, I mean diary entries. People have been beasting it with the diary entries recently. I've been really happy about that. Um, glad you guys have been enjoying writing as much as I've been enjoying it myself. But this group should be pretty, pretty good here. Pretty good. Um, so I think we'll start out with, uh, with a buff on you. That buff is so strong. With the extra speed we're getting here, we should always be able to get that buff off first. Um, and of course, these guys, they have relatively high resists, but we can still go for this, I think, and probably bleed a few of them. Or all of them. Nice. That's a bit of a hit there. Bit of a hit. Now, there's something to be said about the uh, the ability to bring Victoria along with us on this uh, expedition. We definitely could have done that. Um, let's have a look. What do we want to do? We'll activate our repost here. Set up some more bleed. Getting a repurser mark on us is, is very, very nice. And we'll do the same here. Get the restoration as long, along with the repurser. And now we can go for a heal here. Lovely little heal there. The heals aren't huge on air, but she is only level zero. As we rank up those skills, they'll get better and better. But this group is not very, not very much about directed damage. It's all about stacking that bleed. And letting things slowly whittle down and 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 die over time. Um, so we're gonna do this again, actually. Very nice. Um, and then we can even do this. Look, like 
You've got a lot of stats effects on you, my dude. So not a lot of directed damage, but the damage over time, it, it goes it goes hard. And I think it's going to be a really good composition here. Getting extra shovel there could, could prove very beneficial. And I am willing to spend some extra time on this exploration to maybe explore a little more and um, considering how much scouting chance we have um once we've camped we're gonna have a really good chance to find a secret room if there is one here um we'll go with that and get the dodge on you getting that dodge early is also really good of course we always want to do that early and that i just i love this 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 build so cool these guys work so well together just everything's bleeded blighted constantly now, the, the one problem is, is uh, as, as we just saw there, stress. Mainly because we're not dealing crits very often. We're not getting kills very quickly. We're kind of leaving things to take their damage, and that's kind of it. So, in that, it kind of means... Wow, that's a lot of damage. In that, it kind of means that we leave ourselves open to stress dealers to just kind of wail on us. Which isn't great. Uh, but... I think for the most part, that'll be fine. I don't know. Ooh, arsonists only. Greased rags. Molotov gets extra damage and less on melee skills. That's interesting. I don't know what this is. The burn altar. We should... Whenever I have the option, I should really go and look into those. Darkest dungeon. Burn altar. Because we might be missing out on something great if I don't do anything with it. Um, 100% odds with... Oh, that's really good. Okay, so we'll take that on you, I think. Yeah, we basically just get extra damage, accuracy, and crit until camp. So, very, very good. But this... Oh, Harathan. Unlucky. Uh, this, is a, this is a group that I'm just in love with right now. We've been having a lot of really strong groups, and that does... That does kind of come with modding. Um, you get these really, really strong groups that just kind of go crazy. And work really well together. In the early game, they, they look like they're unbeatable. And they look really, really strong. But late game, the, the the tides can change in the flick of a switch. And that's really what we're building up to right now. Now, gameplay... A secret room. Uh, right now, gameplay is going to be a little easier and a little slower. And not much, not as much like really wacky or interesting things are going to happen. But um, it's because of all the characters we've got and we're leveling everyone up. And we're going through some of the early game bosses. But once we get into the second stages of bosses, things really do start to kick up a notch. Um, let's go with a party heal here. I'm really hoping we get another general um general healing increase trinket we've only got that one for 15 percent right now and honestly that's not that much Ooh, we shouldn't have done that i've just realized we've done something pretty bad here so this guy gains extra attacks he receives reacts to special skills with uh blight and bleed so we we, we could find that problematic um we have the chance to kill this guy unfortunately we didn't Okay, our our air is taking taking a beating right now, um, in a major way, which isn't great. Nice, we got a kill there. Okay, we're gonna need to get ourselves a heal here, keep ourselves sustained. Light and bleed isn't looking great, but we can we can sustain, we can get through it, and that's the sort of skill that we don't want to be coming across right now. Um. We're just going to go for an attack on you and try and get you gone. These things have a lot of health. Everyone's taking a lot of damage here. I'll say that for sure. I'll say that for sure. Okay, we need to be very careful right now. We'll go for the party heal. That stress is getting very high as well. 63 already. Start. We started off with 20, remember, so that definitely doesn't help. Um... Another 3 damage, you're on 13. You can sustain this, you're fine. You're taking enough of that. I think everyone here is dead. I guess we just do this. We don't even need the healing, do we? Get the restoration here. Okay, nice. I'm a little I'm a little worried here. I'm a little worried. Our, our health isn't great. Um, in fact, 
I'm gonna ca even though we've got this extra boost, I'm gonna camp now in order to try and heal people up to full. So we'll definitely take that, considering. Um, and let's have a look. So, first of all, let's go and prevent nighttime ambush here. Great. Right, let's have a little look, see what we can get done here. That's not too good. Producer around supply items, not great. Um, self only, that's going to give us extra melee damage, accuracy, speed, and a reduction in stress. That's very good. Very, very good. Uh, and what does Trail have here? Um, that's pretty good too. We, we, we definitely do kind of need that. Uh, but that is going to add a little bit more stress. So I think what we do here is we go with this, get that heal. And then we go here and here, get that stress down. And I think we have one point left. Yeah, take some more anti-venom, I guess. And we should be good. Okay, these guys do still have some status effects on them, so we're going to take a little bit more damage here. But we should be okay. Let's go for our boss. We might have to stall out this combat here in order to, um, in order to get everyone up to full. So having hair go first every time is so nice here. Nice, everyone's bleeding. You two are bleeding even more. Everyone's blighted. Oh, I love this combo. This combo is so fun, but here comes the stress. Not being able to directly hit that stress dealer at the back, not being able to take him out first or immediately does lend itself to being quite difficult. The crit. Oh, thank God, no crit. No crit. Uh, I'm going to go for the party heal again. Lovely. That, this is exactly what we're looking for right now. The dodge there really isn't. Really isn't. He's going to get another turn. And there's the crit. There's the crit. Okay, he went for a target I'm not too worried about here, which is nice. I'm going to try this. Please don't get another turn out. Please don't get another turn out. Ugh. Okay, that's fine. Okay, you went for the right one. You went for the right one. Great. Wait, did the reporter block the uh, block the stress that we were going to take there? Very well done, Trell. Very well done. Um, right, let's push forward. No taking on the books there. We got the restoration here to get our health up. These two stress does worry me. It does worry me. But I think we should be okay here heading in. Uh, and basically the Incant Flesh changes and it's got all these, all these bunch of different weird things it can do. And it, it's kind of like one segment each here, but they've, they've all got one health bar. So... I think we actually just go for a miss, great. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. There you go, got bleeding all segments there. More bleed. There's, some, there's certainly some attacks here that could be problematic. That is definitely one of them. So it's going to keep changing. That heal isn't great. Okay, set up that there. Nice heal on them front two there. Even more bleed here. We're going to keep going with that. Stop trying to stun him. We need that blight. There we go. That's a Huge, huge get for us here. Okay, nice. Nice dodge. Ooh, nice dodge as well, Trell. Okay, it changed again. I think I just keep healing the party. Even though it only heals the front two, then fr then front two mean a lot to us. That blight's going to be kind of d dastardly here. We resisted it there on Matthew. Very well done. That's pretty bad. Um, we should be able to do this now. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And it only consumes Blight on one segment. That's amazing. Oh, unlucky, Matthew. Unlucky. Trell is in a bad way right now. He's in a really bad way. So we definitely need to bandage him up. Trell could take... Honestly, Trell could take enough damage to, to bring him down here if we're not careful. Thank you. That's I'm, I'm glad you healed there. We need the turn. Again, I'd rather you heal right now. We need the turn. You're going to have enough bleed on you to... Okay, can you... Actually, can you stop healing now? <laughs> Fucking hell. 
Oh my god. Uh, that wasn't enough of a heal, to be honest. They should have him dead, though, next turn. No. Trell. No. Trell. No. Trell. Trell. Please, Trell. Oh, my God. He's off death's door, at least. Matthew, don't you dare miss now. Oh, my God, Trell. My poor boy, you scared me. You scared me. Thank God we're okay. Continued venturing. It's, a, it's risky. I'm going to do this first. Oh, my God, Trell. My sweet boy. <laughs> oh, that was close. The group. Oh. Harathan had your back there. Our uh, our hair here, Will, definitely had your back. Will was there ready, waiting. And she got your back, or he got your back, should I say. Oh, that was... That was close. That was way too close. I'm glad I noticed he had bleed on him then and used a bandage. I almost didn't. Okay. Into our secret room. What are we getting today? And we're getting more of these. I'm actually... I, I'm I'm, I'm really happy about that, but I also really do want some heads. We do have a, a new mod that I got recently that adds, like, 16 new collector heads that we can get. So I'm really hoping to get some heads soon, but... Honestly, I'm happy enough for now. That was relatively scary. Matthew, a... Aberration Slayer. Great. Nice one. Oh, my heart, my heart, my poor, poor heart. I think, I don't think we need to stress heal anyone. I think they'll get over it with time. So let's take our trinkets off everyone and get ready for the next outing, shall we? Because, oh God, my poor soul. And then we'll just do this to make sure they're out of the party there. God, that uh, that was that was that that was kind of horrible. I'm not gonna lie. So let's have a look here. Do we have any sort by level again? Do we have any level ones to switch out here? Um, we do actually have Ronaldius that we could switch out here. Uh, although Ronaldius does have an alarming amount of skills, an alarming amount of skills. Obsessed with food. Extra damage, extra... Mm. It, it would save us... A, I, I'm going to do it because it's going to save us a, a good amount of money here. So, can we copy this? Please say I can copy this. Because it's going to take forever to type out. It's alright, I'll type it out. I keep calling Ronaldius. Ronaldus. The Dragon Slayer. Okay, switch out on Ronaldius there. Uh, we'll also make sure he's the right colour as well. He was the white one, wasn't he? I think it was that one. Okay, great stuff. Um, and we have an occultist, which is our, which is Ryan. I think Ryan's already levelled up. Uh, and we have an apostate, which we can switch out our apostate here. A world view buttressed by dogmatic desperation. Sophia. Invariably leads to single-minded... If only I could spell... Sophia's moving on up on the world here. Uh, we do need to make sure that she that we take off her trinket before we uh, before we change her out and put that on the new Sophia. Good, good. Horse, I think it's that one there. Yep. Okay, that's a nice little nice little switch out we've got there. That's gonna save us some time and money, especially. Very very nice. Uh, we have some trinkets available here. Minus 30 bleed chance. Wow, that's really good. <laughs> that's really, really good. So, minus 30 bleed chance. Basically, what that does for us here is if we can find him. There's Ryan. It takes um, it takes his healing ability and takes it from a 70% chance to a 40% chance. I'm going to buy that. 
I think that's really, really good. That makes Rhine a little more reliable and le a lot less likely to bleed, which I think is very important for us. So we're going to take that. Even though it did cost a little, uh, quite a pretty penny. Uh, but I think that's okay. Uh, we, obviously, none of these we can buy as of yet. We spent a lot of money on one of those in a previous episode, so we don't need to bother about that for now. Um, I think, honestly, we can probably put... Uh, where is he? Where's our man? Where's Harathan? There he is. I think we can put Harathan in because we won't be using him soon. Although that is going to be another 1,250. No, we'll leave him for now. We'll leave him for now. And we'll see what we want to do on our next uh, next adventure out here. Uh, so first of all, town event. Unfortunately, it's just another character. Uh, beat ma beast master. It's kind of nice. Ferocious friends there. Uh, I'm trying to look to see if we've got any boss related ones. Fasting seal. Interesting. So we get less food consumed. Um, less damage inflicted when starving. Extra dodge, less stress from hunger, and 100% less stress from camping meals. That's the only thing, though. That's the only downside. Still, that's interesting, though. Uh, the Devil's Backbone is interesting, too. Wield. I don't think we have other bosses to go for just yet. Just trying to look at what trinkets we've got available to us here. Um, sisters, we don't have a sisters yet. Keeper, we do have Keeper. Uh, and we do have the next level of the Alluring Siren here. And that has the Holy Orders. The Holy Orders is, is pretty good. Extra Death of Blow Resist, extra Virtue Chance, and extra Stress Reduction. That's really nice. The Mitre's Chalice, that's going to be... Extra Damage Rest and Holy... Additional health healed, uh, but can't be guarded and less healing received. Okay, that's 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 really good, but we're not going to take that one yet. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for... I was going to go for the wield mission, but unfortunately that is, um, that is a long mission, so we don't really have the time for that one, I don't think. Um, we'll go with this one here, the, the medium one in the Warrens, so let's build up for that. So let's see, who are we going to bring out with us? this time around let's uh let's have a little look so we do have some new people that we could certainly bring with us here uh or we have some people we haven't been out with in a little while so maybe we'll take some of the people we haven't been out with in in a little while here morgana we haven't been out with morgana in a while so maybe we'll take morgana she's gonna have um some really just upfront nice dps uh, i think i think she's pretty damn useful uh, she does have fear of apparitions, beasts. I do believe it's beasts where we're going, which is unfortunate. She does have mankind here, which I think helps, and sharpshoot, which definitely doesn't. Entangle, uh, that could be problematic, actually. Bringing Morgana out there, I'm pretty sure there's beasts in the Warrens. I'm pretty sure they're classed as beasts, so that could be, that could be problematic and make it quite difficult to work around that. Um... Trying to think of who else hasn't been out in a while. Red hasn't, but we were seeing there that Bleed, although decent, wasn't super effective. We could take out our Butcher with his new trinket. I think that might be a good idea, actually. So we'll keep him in the front line. Let's have a look at what skills we want to be using uh, on him here. So that's a great debuff there, the Cripple. Slice him open is going to be Bleed. Extra damage to stunned, extra accuracy to stunned, and marked. He has, he has the mark there as well. He also has the blade toss, which can't be used from position one. We'll go with uh, with this instead, then, the inspiring command. I think we're going to go with, with those skills there. Um, and we'll we'll pair him with Clint, I think. Clint is, is a difficult one because he does have gluttonous, obvious, and inaccurate all locked in. And he has the extra stress versus beasts, which isn't great. Isn't great, but I think I think he'll come come nicely with this group. Uh, we do, of course, have the uh, extra damage versus marked, which is going to synergize nicely here, um, along with the ability to mark ourselves. We can pull, and we also have the ability to stun as well, which pairs nicely with this ability here, with the extra accuracy versus stun. So I think them them two go quite nicely together. I think them two can work. Mary, we, we can bring Mary out. I think. Um, Oh, actually, no, we'll go with Joseph. We'll go with Joseph, because that Blight's going to be useful. And then, who do we want in our back line? Who do we want in our back line? I'm trying to think of people that we haven't used as much that might be good back line. I'm pretty sure... Can he hit from position three? He can. 
So, maybe we change that around to that. And we go with Prisoner 10 in the back line. And he is basically going to start off with a charge to initiate the fight. I'm a little, I'm a little worried for healing here. Uh, healing is a slight concern. Um, we're only going to have two, well, we're only going to have one guaranteed way to heal. And it's not a party heal. Um, well, we do have the purification party heal part of that. But that could lead to some difficulties. Certainly, um, I want to make sure you can use his heals from position. Yeah, he can apart from purification You can't use that from the back line, but he can still use infusion He can still use blood decoration. Oh, this is a difficult one Bringing him out would would put us in a rough spot in terms of healing because we wouldn't have that party heal that we kind of need here uh, Although I'm not sure who else we take we could maybe take Annie again, but she's only just been out so maybe Maybe Annie's seen enough action for uh, recent times. But everyone else is getting so high up in the levels that we, we kind of don't have a choice here. I mean, we do have the ability to self-heal with, um, with Prisoner 10 here. So that's fine. I think if we go for a, a pretty heavy um, prop like group, then we should be okay. So let's start trinketing people up and we'll, we'll, try, we'll try this group out. Um, so let's have a look. So Butcher, we definitely want this on him. Getting that extra speed along with the, um, the surprise and, uh, scouting chance is, uh, it's just frankly insane. It's really good. He has pretty high dodge, so there's not really a great reason to, uh, to add the accuracy, um, and crit because that dodge reduction would be fairly hefty. Fairly hefty. Although, I mean, it's still a, it's still a decent option. Um, I think, I think actually it's probably the better option here. So we'll go with that. That gives him a pretty good crit chance, I think. And that lower dodge, it matters, but not as much as you'd think. Uh, then here we can go with, I'm going to go with the extra damage versus marked and the extra speed. I mean, speed is just always lovely. Um, and... Yeah, then maybe we'll maybe we'll just take some prot here. Buff him up with some prot. Then we'll go with the healing ability. Actually, scrap that. We'll we'll put the jar of slime on uh, on Clint here because then he has some self sustain. He doesn't he doesn't always need the healing, which is really nice. Of course, we always put the healing trinket on on our healer. Uh, along with, we do have the extra accuracy and accuracy versus blighted, but I don't think that's the best course of action right now. I think we just take prop in the, uh, the thing that we just swapped out wherever that was. Look at the boots. Where's our, where's our prop trinket? Did we keep it on him? We did. Okay. So we need to put the boots on you instead then. That does lower your speed, though. The speed on our healer is important. So that might not be the best idea here. Uh, I'd like to think it is, but I don't know. This, again, is a, is, a, is a very, very difficult... A very, very difficult one to manage. Let's just go with the max HP and prot there instead, then. Then you're going full on damage. You're you're getting all the damage we have to give. So you're gonna get. Where's our first turn one? We so you're definitely getting that because you've already got low dodge and speed anyways. So I'm not too bothered about that. And yeah, where's we have a trinket that allows you to do a lot more on the first turn. 20% damage and extra accuracy on the first turn. Yeah, we'll go with that. That should mean that we get instant two kills in the first turn here. He does have cowardly sadly, which isn't going to be the best. This should be an okay group though, and I'm 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 willing to bet that these guys will do just fine here. Um the healing is a little worrisome, but I think we have enough sustain to get through this. Let's buy our food. 18 4 3 3 Three, three, whoopsie, don't need loudenum, never need loudenum, the few specific things you need it for, but it's, it's rare, um, then we'll go with 18 of those, good, good, 
everyone's ready to go well i'm back and let's have a look at our diary entries so we do have another diary entry this one is from lucas our rescuer again by t-e-a-t -E and this is after destroying the brigand eight pounder today we ventured into the dead forest near the hamlet looking for some kind of war machine the brigands had put together we found it a huge cannon surrounded by brigands and armed to the teeth. The injuries they caused weren't a huge concern, but at some point during the battle, the warriors at the front failed to finish off the man lighting the fuse and the cannon went off, pointed at us. I flinched, my eyes shut, and I didn't expect to open them again. But a few seconds later, the loud boom did. The loud boom I did, um, and what I saw still confounds me. One of the warriors at the front, a man with a large sword and an intimidating presence, was covered in blood and shrapnel and smoke was rising off his body he had taken a cannonball to the chest and was still standing still fighting and he walks with us now having destroyed the cannon and sent the brigands running for their lives i may speak to another medical professional in the town after uh, about this man's resilience i heard a new doctor arrived in town recently dr henry jackal i perhaps i'll speak to him so that's a, a great little diary entry there of Lucas having no idea that the barbarian that he fought with is actually the doctor um, that, that arrived, Dr. Henry Jackal. I really liked that, considering they uh, he reforms to like an earlier version of himself and a much more beefed up version. So this should, as you just saw there, this should make scouting all but a guarantee. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really happy with that. So we need to get to gather the three grain sacks here. So this could either be a very quick mission or a very long one. It really does depend. A little bit of extra food there is always welcome. As the light gains purchase, uh, here we go. Here's our first one. So this is going to be one where we need to keep three slots open for it. So we're going to kind of zigzag here. We will have to... In fact, I was just about to say we will have to return down to that at some point. That little exit over there. I'll go to that now. Oh, would you get surprised? That's the first time that's happened in a little while, actually. Um, we can pull ourselves forward here, though. And it's not actually done too much to hurt us. Let's make that repose there. Wow. That is an absolutely enormous hit to start off the battle there. That is not good at all. But that's an odd... Uh, returned with a huge hit there. Okay. That was unfortunate. The blight and bleed is difficult, but this is going to certainly kill them, too. Nice. And these two kind of dance at the front from this point onwards. Heal myself up after that incident there. Sadly, we're not going to reach the uh, the back line here. We'll just take that out. Get over here. Nice one, Clint. Yeah, that, that jar of slime is so important in having... It basically means we can run a slightly weaker, slightly less heal-centric build without worrying. And we just found a secret room, which is just awesome for us here. Considering today we were kind of pretty set on trying to build up some more money, that really helps out in that. We'll go to that last, though. Quest. So none of these are quest. So, in fact, let's let's not go to that first. We can check which one's a quest. So, this is a quest location here. I always forget that you can check on the map. I wish they had a different icon. It'd just make more sense for the quest locations to have a different icon here. Uh, we're going to have to fight a battle either way. We go here, so let's just do this. Surprise chance is going to be pretty regular. This here is so good. Minus 20 dodge is really nice. Minus 7 speed is also great. Um, it does have the chance to kill as well. Great stuff. Love it. Nice one, Clint. These guys have really high blight resist, so instead we'll just activate our repose here. I should really think about that and not attack the front line first. Considering we, we, we get our Hollow Knight here, Prisoner 10, basically gets us guaranteed kills off the first attack. Nice. Munch could get a bit of blight on us there. That's fine. And again, I'm just going to heal myself up here. Need to do him. Nice punch and a bleed there. Should get near to finishing you off. So yeah, let's remember not to attack the front two. And let uh, Prisoner 10 deal with that. 
So we have now got to the, the situation where we're going to have to start dropping stuff on the floor. Which is sad. I hate to see it. Um, so, first off, what are we going to draw? <sighs> citrine, maybe? We could find more citrine, though. Holy water, we'll drop that. Holy water's nice, but we can, we can do without it. We can certainly do without it, right? Th this is great, because we can see exactly where we need to go. Quest location. That's our last quest look. Um, quest location actually here. So that, this is great for us right now. Especially considering our food is getting low and we're getting more and more hunger checks as we go through right now. It's heading here. That's our last quest location, so we'll take that. We'll get rid of our bandages here, I think. Continue adventuring. And we'll just go and get that secret room and then be off, I think. Uh, we don't need to stick around too long for, for extras. I'm not I'm not too uh, invested in getting tons of extras here. This group didn't really see much action today, but they went in, they got the job done, and they left exactly what they need to do. And with the amount of food we have left now, I'm certainly not going to push this any further. Right, first of all, let's just check this. What's your, what's your trap disarm? 90. Let's test this out. Hey, free stress reduction. And there you go, we finally got a head. Uh, we got Mokanda's head. And we got two of these. So we'll be throwing that away. We'll be throwing that away. So Mokanda's head here, while that may seem not that good, this is a Beastmaster's wet dream. <laughs> um, right, we'll finish our quest here. Nice bit of extra gold from that there. So we did this for the Beastmaster. We also got something great for the Beastmaster as well. So let's check what everyone's got here. Wheel Tactician, great. Early Riser, great. Um, Psychotic, fine. And um, great. We've got some amazing, amazing results out of that there. Uh, but supply cost and revision cost, that's going to be great for tomorrow. Um, but yes, so if you take a look here, if we go over to our Beastmaster right now, 6th, where are you, 6th? Hey, here he is. So we just received two pretty good trinkets for him. Let's uh, sort our trinket rarity. Oh, uh, wait, fair, 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 I always forget to do this. Let's de-trinket everyone. Make sure we're not leaving trinkets on people we don't need to leave on them. Of course, if they're class specific, we can leave them. But otherwise, I'd rather make sure they're off. But this is a really good combo. This, uh, these these braces mixed with these boots. I really like that combination. Quickly just embark and take these guys off. But yes, if we go over to sixth here. Where are you, sixth? I just saw you. You were up near the top. I've lost him. Oh, wait. That's why. So we come over to 6th here. And you'll see something really interesting here. So we'll sort these out. We'll get the two trinkets that he just got. So we got this one here. And we got this new head here. So what that's going to do for us is this one here especially is very, very good. So you may remember that um, this is double strike and then we move into his move ability which pushes us all the way to the back and gives us stealth. Um, meaning that with our, uh, th this here, with our bird of prey, it bypasses stealth and steals stealth. It gets extra accuracy while stealth and extra damage while stealth. Now it gets extra speed while stealthed. It gets extra crit while stealthed. And it gets extra damage while stealthed. And then this here, while not super useful with this current build, this current setup, um, it's very, very good for Ravenous here. Uh, allows us to consume corpses and... Um, set some bleed, along with, I think, Cougar's Leap as well. Yeah, so we probably won't put that on him for now, but that head is of the utmost importance for Sick there, and Sick couldn't have wished for a better trinket to get right now. Honestly, that was really, really good. So let's have a look here, if we've got anyone else to upgrade. Um, ooh. We have some interesting things here. So we do have our Banished Hunter, uh, which is unfortunately low level. We're going to be leaving that one for now because it's the level zero. I don't want to rank up more level zeros. It's a very cool barbarian skin there. Uh, but yeah. So unfortunately, we're not taking on anyone else today. We have no new classes that we're taking on. Uh, let's just have a little look, see about doing some upgrading here. So we can get skills to rank four. So let's do that. 
Skills to rank 4. And then we can do... I think we can do both of these, you know. So let's uh, let's trade some of these up. So we need 32 of them. So we're currently at 21. So we need another 10, 11 of them, I think. Is that right? Do that. There you go. And now... If we go over here, how many of them do we need? We need 15, so we can get up to 20 of them pretty easily. And there you go. Now, level 3 recruits can come in, and that is yet again going to save us more costs here. Bringing in level 3s basically means that people like Lucas, we're going to be bringing people in at that level, which is really good. So now we're going to start doing upgrades. So what skills do we use on Lucas? Uh, the front 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. This is going to be a lot of upgrading here. Uh, so you're, we, we only really use them too, so I'm fine with that. We're fine there. Um, Artemis, sorry. You use 1... We mainly use um, these back two here, so we'll, we'll just upgrade them back two for the for the time being. Trell, you're using the first four. We'll upgrade all of them. Arathan, you're using number one and the next three. Librarian, we're using... Um, I mean, we're mainly using these three here, so I'll just upgrade them three. Okay, I'm happy with that. You're fine. Ryan's fine. Ryan is fine. Clint, we're just using the smoke bomb mixed with these three. Here, we're using them four. Dismus. We didn't upgrade um, Open Vein at all, so we'll upgrade Open Vein. Someone mentioned that in the previous episode, so thank you for that. That's fine. That's fine. Just them two is the main ones we use. Good, good. We use first three and last one. We'll go down to about 8,000 and then we'll stop upgrading. Okay, we'll, we'll finish off Isaac here and then that'll be it. Okay, cool. Okay, went down to 6,000. A little lower than I was expecting, but that should be good. So let's uh, let's actually take a look at how many more people need upgrades. So Scarlet, Sixth, Hammurabi, Prisoner, Matthew, Ash, Venus, Annie, Velva, Henry, <laughs> Mary, Aaron, Red. Oh my god. So this is exactly why we need the level three recruits coming in, because this it just it helps us so much. Uh, we will we will upgrade you because it's cheap as it's cheap as anything. So upgrade them too, and we'll do it with Annie as well. Actually, oh my god, just the two healing abilities. Yeah, I'll do that. We'll we'll just sell some stuff to make up for that. Uh, and sell that, sell that. Um, I'm going to sell that, actually. We're never going to use that. Um, is there any of these that we'll never use? It's plausible we use that. Hmm. Okay, uh, I think I think something I'm just going to do real quick here as well is sort by class and just anyone that we need. So we're, we're definitely getting rid of that one because we just don't need it. Revenant. So we're going to sort some stuff out. Oh, I didn't even. I should have used this last. We just took Revenant out. I do apologize. I didn't realize we had that. That's very useful for um for Trail here. I do apologize. I didn't realize we had that. So any class specific things that we that we really need. So let's uh, go down the line and see. And they easily see who needs their class-specific ones setting up. So we'll give you that for now, but I don't know if we'll always use that. Again, you can take that. We don't know if we'll always use it. You can have both of these. So that's going to be giving you maximum HP and dodge as well as dodge and... Oh my god. That's a lot of dodge, dude. Holy hell. That's a lot of dodge. Now that's a lot of dodge. 
Wow. I just want to get everyone set up so we know sort of where things lie. Even if we don't use that, I'll, I'd rather have that on, on you for now. There you go, Renault. You can take that. Renault definitely needs to get out soon. He's been he's been stuck in for way too long. He is he is definitely uh, going a bit mad. I think he needs to get out there. Man at arms. He's got two. Even if we don't actually keep these on these characters, I think it's good to get them set up with them now. Um, just so we know sort of who's got trinkets and who doesn't. We don't have to mess around with it as much. We do have a succubus, so I don't know. Did I miss the succubus, maybe? Yeah, I did. And we do have an arsonist as well. Where's he? I've lost our arsonist. There you are. Okay. that's That makes sense a little more. And our hound master, Matthew. There you go. Just makes our, our inventory look a little less messy. We can see the trinkets that actually need swapping out when we when we need to see them. And um, we do have a few more backstories to go over before the end of this episode. I'm going to leave a few of these for the next episode because we got a lot written today. A lot written. Um, so I'm going to go over the one for Trell. Um, he said, la this this was last episode, so this is around uh, last week that he wrote this in his diary. Trell said, um, this is written by Cell, Unstable Strafe, by the way. He said, not much to do around here when you're not fighting. Talked to the barkeep and he offered me a side job at the bar. In exchange, he'd let me live in one of his old wine cellars instead of that scr scruffy barracks. If I'm going to be here for the long term, it's best that I begin to get comfortable. Indeed you did. Indeed you did. So that's nice for him to get comfortable and get situated. And he ended up going out fighting anyway, so I'm sure he's happy. But yeah, we're uh, situated in a bit of a better spot now, and I, I think we're very much ready for the next adventure. Everyone's looking good. We're starting to get out upgrades. It's taking a long time, and the, the money is definitely problematic, but it's why we have the extra gem cost, things like that. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.